When it comes to creating online courses, there is no shortage of platforms to host your content. There are so many options. When I first started creating online courses, I chose Teachable because it seemed like that's what all the major players were using. But once I found Podia, I immediately made the switch. In today's video, I'm sharing the key differences between Teachable and Podia to help you determine whether or not you should make the switch as well. I'm Dana Kay, and this is Branding Outside the Box, where I help driven entrepreneurs and aspiring leaders like you become more memorable and make more meaningful connections. I've been selling online courses for almost two years now, and I thought that all the features and services provided by Teachable were fairly standard. But once I discovered Podia, there were five key differences that made me immediately make a switch. The first is fees. Podia's mover plan is the same as Teachable's basic plan, $39 a month. But Podia doesn't charge any transaction fees, while Teachable charges 5%. That means the more students enroll, the more you're paying Teachable. Why should we get penalized for when our online courses do well? The second is the payout schedule. Teachable holds your payments for 30 days, sometimes more, while Podia pays out instantly. I don't want to have to wait 30 days to access my cash. Do you? The third reason is that Podia allows me to expand the types of digital products and services I offer. Teachable is strictly an online course platform, but Podia also allows you to create membership sites and digital downloads. While I only offer e-courses at the moment, that doesn't mean I won't want to launch a membership site in the future. And isn't it so much easier to have everything under the same umbrella? The fourth reason I switched is probably the most important one, customer service. When my Teachable students had issues, like their password wasn't working or they had trouble accessing their content, Teachable took up to 24 hours, sometimes more, to address their issues. And when their issues weren't addressed immediately, guess what? They emailed me with all their technical stuff and I was forced to help them guide them through their password resets or accessing the course. Podia's chat function allows you to talk with a customer service rep instantly during business hours. And even during non-business hours, I usually receive responses within a couple of hours. That level of customer service is so crucial, especially when it comes to e-commerce sites. And it's probably the thing I value most about Podia. Finally, my biggest hesitation about making the switch was the migration. I had five e-courses full of video modules and hundreds of students in Teachable. The thought of getting them over to a new platform was overwhelming. So overwhelming, in fact, that I was probably willing to put up with much of Teachable's shortcomings. But guess what customer service centric Podia does? They migrate everything for you. I signed up for Podia on Friday afternoon and by Sunday afternoon, all of my content from Teachable was successfully transferred into Podia. It was a dream. In terms of features, Podia and Teachable are highly comparable. They both support unlimited e-courses, unlimited videos, unlimited students. They have easy drag and drop templates to use. And while they're a little bit limited in terms of customization, it's a little bit harder to customize your sales pages. For those of us who are less tech savvy, they're ideal. But these five differences are what made me make the switch and why you may consider doing the same. No transaction fees, instant payouts, supports membership sites and digital downloads, excellent customer service, and they will migrate everything for you. If you want to get a behind the scenes look at the Podia interface and see how it could work for you, check out this tutorial. You can also visit brandingoutsidethebox.com slash Podia to start your free trial.